My name is David Koenig. I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of the DCRO Institute. The DCRO Institute is a collaboration among board members and C-suite executives around the world, and we're focused on helping organizations to achieve their goals better through a better governance of risk taking. Well, and I think this is good news for people who do their work in the risk space, particularly at the senior levels. When I'm talking to board members and boards, I'm hearing of a growing need for some technical expertise across four different areas. Human capital, and that's the result of the great resignation and, and the challenges that were faced during the pandemic. We hear about it in finance, but that's always gonna be the case. We hear about it in technology, in particular cyber and data. And the one thing that we hear that cuts across all areas of a board's work is a need for greater understanding of risk. So this technical understanding of risk, as long as you're translating it into what the board's work is, getting back to my answers in the first two questions, can make you a very valuable addition to the board. And the Institute has worked on something called the Qualified Risk Director designation. This is something that the DCRO developed back in 2016. And what we're trying to do is to identify people who have experience across business, risk, leadership, and have a strong educational background. In order to become a qualified risk director, you have to have strength in all four areas. Now, the goal of creating a designation like the qualified risk director designation is so that boards and those recruiting board members can identify people who can come into a board environment bringing that risk expertise but also understanding how it fits into the work of all sorts of board committees. So this cuts across compensation committees, innovation committees, nomination governance committees, technology committees, human safety. All of these have some tie back to risk. Audit committees have typically been handling risk as well, which we don't think is necessarily the best approach because audit committees are backward looking and risk is a forward looking concept. But you can also serve on an audit committee if you're a qualified risk director to help them shift that view from being backward looking and validating to being forward looking and anticipatory. So for you who are thinking about serving on boards, if you're thinking out two, three, five years, I would encourage you to start the preparation now. There's quite a bit of work that goes into being ready to serve on a board and then even more to be effective at serving as a board member. And for those of you who interact with boards, having an understanding of how boards think, that's gonna make you much more effective in communicating your important message. But in short, risk is becoming an even more important aspect to everything that boards are doing. And that's really why the DCRO Institute exists. <laughs>